Yep, uh, today I want to talk about this experiment uh, using a uh, relay as a video input switcher. Uh, so the circuit is really simple. It's just a push button to give the coil on the relay 12 volts. The video input signal is connected to the common on the relay. Then I have one camera connected to the normally closed and one connected to the normally open. So when I push this button the coil gets power and switches the contact points and uh, it should uh, um, yeah, change the video signal. So, but uh, the thought, um, what I'm thinking is that maybe uh, the coil and the magnetic fields uh, that the coil makes and uh, the small metal pieces inside the relay will work as antennas and um, yeah, mess up the video signal. But I'm gonna give it a test anyway. Yep, so we're up and running. This is the camera over here, which we have first. And um, yeah, picture looks normal and uh, no interference. So let's try and push the button. Switch is over. This is the camera in the front here. As you can see, that's me and my camera. Um, and yeah, not mm, yeah. There are some notable interference. There are some black horizontal lines going up. But yeah, they are not really that visible, and they are even slightly visible. Uh, when the ca uh, relay is turned completely off also. So, um, yeah, that's proved the concept that you can use a relay for a video switcher. And um, it's useful for a lot of things. Let's, for example, say you have a reverse cam on your car and you want a front cam, but you only have one monitor, you can just use a relay and a switch uh, to make it happen. So this is a momentary, uh, momentarily switch. Sorry. So that that means that when I release the button, uh, it will go over to the first signal. But you could use a switch, and that would uh, a toggle switch that will hold in position after you release it. So um, yeah, that's about it for this uh, short video. Thanks for watching, thanks for uh, tuning in and uh, see you guys soon.